Are you tired of your competitors ranking higher on Google than you do? You're searching for your product or service and you're not at the top? You should stay tuned. Today I'm going to talk about 10 SEO tips to help you rank better in 2023. Austin Colson here with ACO Web, where we turn searches into sales. So let's dig into it. But before we do that, I want to give a sh quick shout out to Metal Signs and your designs for making this awesome logo for us. This is going to be a background in our podcast. Amazing work, so I want to make sure I plug them real quick. And let's get into it. 10 SEO tips to help you rank better in 2023. So the number one, research your keywords thoroughly. Look into the keywords, use tools like SEMrush, Ahref, uh, Google Keyword Planner. Type in things that you think your customers or, or prospects are gonna search for to find you, and then look at that. There's also a cool site we use called Answer the Public, where it'll give you questions that are people are searching for, longer tail keywords we call it. Look into that stuff and use those keywords. Make a list of the top 10, 5, 10, 20, whatever that you wanna focus on, and then use those. Once you've done your keyword research, the next thing is to create high quality content. When we say create high quality content, it's not about just creating volumes of content and throwing it out there. You wanna write stuff that is gonna answer questions for your prospects, is gonna educate them, is gonna make them wanna come back and read more. You're gonna to wanna to have good pictures in there or infographics, maybe a video like this one I'm shooting for this article. Um, so make sure that that stuff's in there when you create high quality content. Next, you wanna optimize your meta tags. This is making sure your titles are there, your descriptions are there. Um, alt tags on images, all those little pieces, and you can Google meta tags to get more information. So that's an important step. Next, improve your site speed. Google Search Console or other tools to see what things you can tweak on your website. Either you do it or have your web developer, somebody like us do it for you, and just make sure you have a fast site. Um, people are gonna want that interaction. If it's not loading quickly, they're gonna leave. Google's gonna see that as a negative impact on uh, people using your site, and that's gonna hurt. After that, make sure it's mobile friendly. Half. 60%, 70%, depending on your industry of people, especially service things like plumbers, that kind of stuff, they're gonna pull it up on their phone and they're gonna look for you there. If your site is not mobile friendly, if it doesn't show up well on a phone, they're gonna leave and that's gonna hurt too. Next, build internal links. So uh, in this article and maybe in the description of the YouTube video below, you'll see that I link to other pages of our website. So this, is a, uh, this video goes with an article about SEO tips. And so I'm gonna link back to our main SEO service page where we're trying to um, show people what kind of service we provide. That's an internal link. And then once you're building internal links, you're also gonna to wanna to build external links. So every site out there that links to your website that's relevant is like a hand up to Google saying, hey, this is a good site, this is good information for this topic. Every time it sees that, that's like a vote of confidence that's gonna help you. So you wanna build links inside your article that link to other pages, and you wanna get other sites to link to you external links. And then when you create that high quality content, Make sure you promote it on social media. Get people to see it, get people to interact with it. The more people come to that page and read it, the more Google's gonna think that it's a good topic, it's good information, and that's gonna help you show up better. Also, increase engagement through user experience. Quality content, um, load speed, mobile, those are all things that are kind of user experience, but just make sure it's intuitive, make sure it's easy to read, make sure it's easy to find the conference, uh, to find the content, make sure that, that it's, it's readable, uh, it's at an age level that makes it universally readable to everybody, and that it flows well. And then, once you've done all that, track it. Those keywords you started with in the beginning, track it and analyze it. Are you showing up for those keywords? What pages are showing up for those keywords? Is that page ranking on page one yet, or, or are we doing things to improve that? So keep track of that, keep it analyzed, and keep updating, keep iterating, and keep making it better. So hopefully that helps. Uh, in conclusion, do those 10 steps, Make sure that you're targeting keywords that are gonna be effective for your business. Um, don't assume that you know what people are searching. You'll be surprised a lot of times there's other terms and other things that they're searching for, and then do your homework. Thanks, appreciate you.